Good morning guys. It is Monday morning at around 10 o'clock. I have been up for about two and a half hours and I've gotten a lot done. I do as I always do. I take my medications. Today I also have my estrogen patch that needed to be changed. I then uh, went and got my shake to get my breakfast. I uh, have sat down, I've done my 100 stitches, I have played some games on my iPad and I have finished colouring a uh, character. So today's character is this little cutie. She is a donut girl, she is a digital stamp from Stamp Anything and she's super adorable and I had so much fun colouring her. Uh, I, this is the second one. I did the Christmas one a couple of days ago. They take time. I think I put down like four hours coloring time on her. So it's not like they're a quick color, but it was so much fun because she had all of the braids and everything that I did. I, I, I made a knitted effect both on her bodice and on her cap, uh, which was a lot of fun to do. Uh, yeah, and I really like, um, I don't know if you saw that, what I like the most about these little characters, let's see if it, well, we'll focus on her, is uh, the kind of very monotone look with just a splash of orange. Um, she's a little bit more colour in her than the camera shows. Um, as usual, uh, the camera's uh, color balance isn't the best uh, mostly because of my pink hair I think um, but yeah so I've done that I have uh, loaded in all the clips for my video to be edited also so I got a pretty good good amount done uh, today so far uh, Gizmo has gone crazy he's been running around both downstairs and up, up here so um, Christopher's mom just took him out in his little yeah words. I've been having severe word issues the last I would say week or so. I also have a lot of more migraines so I'm kind of losing words whether it's English or Swedish they just disappear and it's apparently a migraine problem for me at least like different people will have this problem differently some people have it naturally uh just the way how they work some people get it from migraines like i or something else in my case it's migraines i lose words and that has been happening a lot lately i know the word i can replace it with synonyms uh, but I just can't get it out of my head, which is quite annoying. But yeah, it's been my morning so far. I think I'm going to go down and get a cup of coffee before I finish editing the video. Then I'm going to edit the video and get that uploaded. Then we'll see. I have a another one of those donut girls. So I was thinking about making a Halloween version. Um... That is one thing I really love. I love taking an image, uh, a, a digital stamp, and make it my own, sort of. Um, there's, I don't know, um, I, I really love a lot of the examples and the stuff that uh, the designers or the design team do for the stamps when they are released however I always want to give it a little bit of a difference and I think that is why I was su so successful in my design teams um, also I am uh, I can color in so many different ways I actually did work for one company for a while uh, or a design team I wasn't really paid I think I got a little bit of money for this specific one that was I was coloring up images for um, her launch and I, I thought it was really really fun and she uh, had a very specific 
colouring way uh, that you wanted and I could measure up to that. Um, and I think that is a good sign of a colourist where you have your own like in earth colouring technique. This is how you do it, this is how your designs usually look when you are posting them on your own blog. But you are able to pivot if they need it to be on their blog or in this, in this case actually in their store. Um, I also made, uh, I have had multiple images up on stores but I think the coolest thing ever was when one of my images became the um, outside for a, a physical stamp. So basically everyone that bought that physical stamp, a rubber stamp, they got my colouring on their packaging. So hundreds of people that bought that stamp have that image on the packaging when they received it. And I think it's so cool. Uh, it's one of those things that really makes me want to continue doing the the colouring thing, the idea that people get to hold what I do in their hands. But yeah, kind of cool, kind of cool. Uh, I'm gonna sit down and edit, um, but good morning guys, I hope you have an awesome day. So, I'm at the part of vacation where I want to go home. Um, I just have moments like this. I think this time around is because I have been colouring with my pencils and I want to go home and colour with my Copics because I don't know, I like the potency of the colour in markers more than I like pencils. Uh, I love the details I get from our pencils, but I don't have the patience to sit four to six hours per image to get it to the place where I want it to be. And also, I still not um, haven't practiced enough to be really good at them, so I need to learn that a little bit more. And I'm, I'm tired, I'm grumpy, mostly because I have a headache and backache and everything, but I've had a really nice time. Uh, I've been chatting uh, with Lotta, which is Christopher's brother's wife. Uh, and we've been just chatting and, and, and having a really nice time. It's a little bit chillier today than I was supposed to and it's been like cloudy and grey all morning. But I'm sitting there, um, Christopher is making a table which he's been kind of working on for a while. I'm gonna take you with me down there and show you everything tomorrow. Tomorrow me and Christopher has like our own day. I don't know how long our day will be. I know that aggressive parents will stay overnight, so we'll be uh, alone for one or two days. So then I thought I'll show you around the apartment or the house. Uh, we're gonna go out and do some shopping and we're gonna have some um, sushi with the neighbors. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that that's gonna be our day tomorrow. So I'm kind of looking forward to that too. So not as homesick as I'm usually is um, but yeah I'm longing to get home I want to get started on my big project of renovating the um, office that's one thing uh, I want to get recording some videos I want to get cleaning at home um, yeah I want to get a little bit of variation in crafting something like that but yeah I am waiting for my video to be completely uploaded so I can schedule it at 6. I'm a little bit later today, it's around almost 4. I uh, have still not gotten the video up. I tried to start editing this morning but my head is just isn't with me today. I have a lot of headache. I forgot to take my nose spray so I'm gonna do that um, in just a little while and see if that will help. Uh, and and so, uh, but I have done a lot of fun things. Um, I think I showed you that I finished the autumn one, started on my next one, which most likely end up Halloween-y. 
we'll see um i do the skin and then i do the hair and then i do the rest of it so it kind of depends on where i feel the image want to go it's one of those things with when you're being artistic is or creative more and more i don't feel like an artist i feel more like just a creative but sometimes the image will speak to you and say this is what i want to be and sometimes you get an idea and you try to get the character to fit in the idea sometimes the characters are willing to do that and they are sometimes they are not so i started with kind of black hair um green eyes and then we'll see if i can make cute little halloweeny cupcakes or something but yeah i thought i'd shake in a little bit just in the middle of the day so guys guess what it is night time and i'm going to head to bed so what i've been doing well uh i've been having a massive migraine which is really bothering me i really don't know what to do to get rid of it i'm trying all the things and it just stays there and is annoying but hopefully just another couple of days and it will be gone i will continue doing all the good things and we'll see so uh, instead of coding which i haven't done at all today because my head just didn't allow it uh and i hardly gamed on the ipad and i didn't do any stitches because i started to get bored i did some coloring but i didn't want to do more coloring I don't know, I did a little bit of colouring the uh, in the morning, but I haven't like coloured the rest of the day. So, I grabbed something that I've been meaning to do since I got here. Um, I actually grabbed my whole stash of threads, and I should have filmed it while I was doing it, but I was really, really tired, and I was watching telly at the same time, I felt that was very comfortable, so... I didn't pick up the camera. However, I have now sorted all of my DMC skeins. Um, I have had a bag lying since December of threads that needed to be sorted into my kind of my main stash of skeins. Um, I have just not done it because I, at the moment, uh, kind of track all my threads in a pay, uh, numbers sheet, so basically an Excel sheet, but for the Mac because I'm an Apple girl. That's just how how I roll. And uh, I sorted through them all, and I actually started a new sheet just to see if the counts kind of was equal. Uh, and I filled in all of the threads, so I both sorted in all the threads, and I then, um, first after I sorted them in number order, I just uh, wrote, kind of added them to the number sheet uh, before packing them in bags. So I have them in bags like this. This is all the three skeins I have for my 300s, um, the 300 series of all kind of number series. Uh, and I have bags uh, like these for um, some I have grouped because of also little skeins. Some I have had to split, like the uh, 3800. There are so many different colors in 3800. And also, I have a couple of colors that I have like 12 skeins each of because I bought a pack of them um, like a couple of years ago. So uh, I sorted everything in. I have 603 skeins. That's a lot of skeins. There's a lot of doubles, uh, both because I have a bunch of the, uh, like I have a couple of boxes I bought. I bought about, I think eight boxes or something and it's 12 skeins a box. And then I have uh, some colors that I have a lot of because uh, there's for my upcoming project that I'm going to do after I done Envy. Um, so that's kind of. Uh, and then I have some that I just use kind of a lot of, just use a lot of, like black uh, B5200, um, 
those kind of colors that I know that I will use again. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. Uh, no, uh, yeah, thirty-seven ninety-nine and thirty-seven seventy-one. I think it is. Those are also kind of colors that just appear in mainly every pattern not every pattern but all the patterns so yeah so i sorted them and i got them all into my sheet uh i wanted to cut to go through all my boxes that i have with me too i have my whole stash with me it's just one bag i'm going to show you in the morning uh but i'm going to go through the boxes tomorrow and i'm going to add them in because they are separated into uh, main stash and then two project two bigger projects envy and a christmas house or something like that uh artisy is the brand of that pattern um but they have the same like symbol family font family of symbols that envy does so i get a little bit confused when i switch between them so i rather just keep one at a time um and then I also have my little box, which I have my threads for my little project uh, in. So I'm going to go through those and add them into my new pages sheet so that I'm up to date. I have a plan for a better solution, but we'll see when that will happen. Anyhow, that's been my evening. Uh, it was a quite a simple thing to do that didn't like it was so nice because it didn't kind of want my brain capacity it's basically just sorting by numbers and counting less than a hand well I think I have one that has like 27 skeins or something dark blue it's going to sloth because sloth is my next if I'm, I'm remembering correctly, I've been saying Avarice for quite some time, but Avarice is very, very yellow, and I did do all the skeins and everything for a blue one, so I think it's Sloth, it's called. But yeah. Yeah, so, my evening. We had really nice dinner. We eat a grilled chicken with... Um, stew yeah stewed no i don't know what it's called when uh we did it with cauliflower and you kind of cook it in milk and stuff into some kind of mush you can do that with carrots and a lot of, is this is it called stewed i really don't know what it's called but anyhow um i ate that with my grilled chicken and then I had some salad and I had a couple of pieces of rice bread. Uh, I found this in the store. They're like, um, they're harder, just rectangulars and they're usually in corn, but I found rice version of it, uh, which is better like allergenic for me. Um, and they were okay. They taste like paper. <laughs> they don't taste like much, but uh, I did get a little bit more carbs in me. Uh, because they had bulgur to the food and I don't eat bulgur that's that's not my thing it's gluten in it so it's definitely not my thing I actually really really like bulgur but my tummy doesn't sadly sadly but yeah uh, I'm gonna head to bed now because it's starting to get towards later I think it's like 9 30 or something but I'm tired and my migraine's been messing with me. So, instead of that, I am going to go and head to bed. So, good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye!